an LMPD officer facing a felony charge for allegedly hitting a kneeling protester has resigned from the force days after the department started the process to fire him. Hello everyone and thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Doug Prophet. Officer Corey Evans was charged with violation of a person's constitutional rights for his actions during a May 2020 Breonna Taylor protest. Sonite Gabrigegadis is talking with a U of L legal expert about what this could mean for his future in law enforcement. A copy of the resignation letter shows Officer Corey Evans sent it to Chief Erica Shields just yesterday. Now, even though this comes before the department was able to finalize his termination, it's the felony charge that still puts him in trouble. Notoriously, officers who are accused of misconduct, often disciplined for misconduct, and sometimes even fired, are able to get jobs in other departments. University of Louisville law professor Samuel Markison says it doesn't really make a huge Police difference if an officer resigns in the face of discipline. Assuming this guilty plea goes forward, uh, that he's going to be a convicted felon. And that would have a much uh, more significant and certain consequence for his ability to work uh, down the road. Evans allegedly hit a person in the back of the head who was surrendering for arrest while kneeling with their hands up. Court documents say the person was hurt. When LMPD found out about the allegations, Evans was placed on reassignment and the claims were sent to federal authorities for investigation. He was charged with deprivation of rights under color of law. According to online court records, he's expected to plead guilty to the felony in July. If it happens, if he's convicted, either through a guilty plea or a jury verdict, that would presumably and should, at least for a very long time, end his ability to work as a police officer. It's because under Kentucky law, if police officers plead guilty to or are convicted of a felony, they lose their certification in the state. But Markison says that doesn't mean Evans won't have a chance to find another policing job outside of the Commonwealth. Some states may say that for a certain amount of time, you are barred. Other states might say that you could get that expunged or uh, that we will recon you can reapply for certification here after a certain period of time. Markinson says each police department varies, especially smaller ones that are understaffed. Evans is expected to appear in court on July 14. For WHES 11 News, I'm Sonega Brigadigas.